Blending bourbon whiskey. Something on the surface that seems really simple. Seems like something you could do at home with your own bottles. How do you blend when the product is consistently changing, truthfully almost day to day, because it's still in a barrel? Everybody blends differently. Dixon blends different than Nancy, blends different than Mark Carter, blends different than Jared, blends different than Matt Porter, blends different than everyone. All these different names have a different philosophy behind their methods of blending. In this video, we're gonna go through blending and the philosophy and theories of blending Somebody that I consider to be one of the best blenders in the country right now. Jared from Barrel King is up at Evernorth using our whiskeys blending with us. Let's see what the hell we can come up with. This bottle drops on Monday. Let's get into it. Barrel King. Dan. How you doing? From uh, Evernorth Spirits. And then Sean's here. Hi. Did you sleep last night? No. Oh, that's good. Jared is a wizard. We call Jared a magician because he can blend things. <laughs> got the beard and everything. Really well. It's incredible, honestly. So we got to blend with Jared at Barrel King for a little bit for Kingslayer. And uh, we had somebody in the Discord say yesterday that's one of their, our, their favorite bottles open right now is Kingslayer. Really? Yeah. It's one of those bottles I think it'll get better with time. Yeah. Even, you know. That one changed a lot it over did. time, like yeah. over like a month. So what we're going to do here, the goal is I got this tank cleaned up over here. Hopefully we're going to put some whiskey in it. We're going to blend some stuff and see if we can't get a Night Stalker barrel proof bourbon blend done while Jared is up here. It's going to be full. It's coming. It's going to be full. You heard it there first. Now, we have seven Barton barrels. There's four more out there. We've got a bunch of MGP over there. There's some 35% rye bourbon that's Sagamore distilled over there. That's, about, that's actually five now. There's a really good barrel out in the barrel house. We're gonna go uh, try that barrel. If it doesn't make the blend- Allegedly. If it doesn't make the blend way better, we can't use it. Like that, no, it's that kind I'm, of barrel. I'm down with it. Okay, it's that Maybe kind of barrel. Maybe it's just allowed 10% of it. Sure. Yeah. Oh. What? Oh. You gotta give a little. <laughs> you gotta give a little, give yeah. a lot. That's right. All right, we're gonna go out there and do that. It's gorgeous, dude. This is like Michigan Spring. Oh, it's real rural, dude. Dude, it's rural. It's, we're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> this is the woods, buddy. I just felt like, I don't know. I just didn't picture you being rural. Really? No. I grew up like this. So interesting. My whole life. I did too. Oh, that's got some pressure. Some pressure in her. Yeah, like a lot. Like, awesome. that is shooting at the heater. Boy, that's fucking weird, actually. It, when it warms up, it should get super fruity. That's fruity already, dude. So if we need, there's four more Barton barrels that we can choose from over there. I'm sure, yeah. I don't know what yeah. it is taste out of. It's fire. I don't know if it is. It's fire, buddy. It's, Jared thinks it'll be good for blending. It is a strong it is. backbone. So this one to me, I know, I guess it's a great single barrel, but to me, like, it has such berry, like, like heavy berry. Yeah. Very fruity. That's almost really good for adding components again. I'm gonna get some hard, I'm gonna get some warm water. Great. Boy, you That's are what fucking, I'm trying to not do. You are fucking shut oh, up, buddy. No. Is that all okay? Can you just all okay? Here. Hey, so it isn't a line that ran through there. They run it right to the fucking tube. Let it be known. Sean be very mad at me. If I did that, now he has to deal well, with himself. We'll fix it. <laughs> That's a real fucking bummer. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna drill this barrel over here. So what Brandon and I found is that that S12 barrel, the fruitiness gets amplified by this barrel, like really well in okay. a great way. Let me get up. But this is six and a half-ish year MGP bourbon, 21% rye. Okay. I've never done this before, oh, so this okay. is kind of fun. Just hit her and push hard. There you go. Fuck, I'm a pro. You're great at that. You good? Yeah. This is what we thought would be a good base, just to give you 
our, our, I'm not saying we're right. I'm just giving mm -hmm. you perspective on our thought, our train of thought. Here's all I'm doing. 25 and 12. It's delicious. So it's, it's going heavy on the, on the base and adding just a little bit of the single barrel to it. Okay. What it is, is because you do have fruit in that one. Yes. But this one also takes that fruit and kind of gives it that mouth feel. Yeah. That pop. So I'm kind of curious. Do we have any more of that right now? You want more of this? Uh huh. Okay. So to give everybody perspective, this is 18% rye Barton. That's five and a half years old, give or take. So. And he's talking shit on it. And you're not. And it's not good. It's not great. It's not great. He's out of his fucking mind. Pretty bad. I think that these together. These three. Dude, I'm telling you, try that. Okay. So what do we have? Barton. Fucking one delicious. third. One third of each. It is literally one third of each. A little bit more of, a little bit more of this one than this one than this one. I tried to follow, but it's not going to matter much. Okay. Huh? I think that's your base. I know you like single barrels and stuff. You're, you think that these three are the base. I you think do. these three will make the base to blend into? I do. This is something that we were screwing up. Jared talked a different day. We had discussed this, but you were like, sometimes I just blend bases, mm -hmm. you know, and yes. then blend into the base, like make yeah. it what I want from there. Yeah. We were trying to just blend like the whole thing at one time, right? Yeah. Here's your four or five barrels, blend them all together right now today. Call yeah. it a day, see what happens, right? You built the foundation. Yeah. Try, to, try to build a foundation and if you can't, if the foundation's off then you work towards that foundation every two days or something every day if you can kind of see it coming. And then once you get it to there and you have a good foundation, you're like, man, this is, this is good and I can put it out, but I still want to add something to it or I need to fine tune it. Then you can just fine tune it in little increments. Like, what do you think about that? You gotta, you gotta tear me apart, buddy. Okay, the musty wet wood of the Barton went away. It, it's subtle now. But I feel like what has happened is that the Barton, because it's that note, seems to be covering up the fruitiness, it is subtle, the ripeness. But I think that might come through. This is also part of the issue too, is if you put these together, you're not sure what's gonna, what's gonna bury, mm -hmm. yeah. what's gonna stay in the front and the back. And the fruit sometimes goes to the back and then comes back towards the front. And we can't take anything out, obviously, once we put it in. Once, if we vat no, it, I'm saying, right? I'm the problem, truly, aren't I? Uh, not really. A little bit, you, you can say it. You, uh, you know what you want. <laughs> That's the nicest way of saying you're the fucking problem. You know what you want. I want you to try something that you haven't had. Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna go try a 35% rye Sagamore bourbon. Let's try it. High rye bourbon, but yeah. distilled by Sagamore, five that years old. We have three of those barrels, but two are short. That to me is, it tastes like a, an older bourbon. Mm -hmm. Like that's really good. That's that weird. This is our first barrel pick was one of those barrels. Dude, it's good. What do you think? Like to me, like it lost its like- I like it pop. more. It, so now what it needs- if Food. We're, if we're adding something, now it needs a finish. Now it needs a finish, 100%. Uh, without S12. Well, let's see if it stays the same as we just had, then we can worry about finish later. Okay. Which is really easy. The finish is the easiest thing to add, I it think. Uh-huh. Interesting. I think so. This is, in, I never thought about this. You're really used to blending with with MGP. Yes. And literally have done an incredible job blending MGP. Dude, this is... These are all... One of them's MGP, but the other three are, are completely... One's Kentucky, one's Maryland. Which, two I, are Maryland. which I've never had. I didn't even think about that with you coming up here. Oh, I did. I was ready for everything. <laughs> just, <laughs> I was. I was on the plane. I'm like, oh, just listen to music, man. Quit freaking out. Just calm. <laughs> yeah. This is honeycomb now. That to me is delicious. I'm going to pull it. Well, there's one Barton Barrel that's better than the rest. Well, hold on. Okay. I don't know if we need it. it smells like uh, like negative ions or something. Yeah. Like, like water in the air. Neutral, yeah. It's like a neutral note. I don't love the nose, to be honest. I like, but we don't know the nose for some, sometimes we won't know it for a day or two. What do you think about the, about like the, the mouth feel and the palate movement? The viscosity is great. I, like, couldn't you couldn't ask for more from like the viscosity. To me, that's like moving towards a... Oh, this is good. Fucking, I like this one. It's fucking good. That tastes like more like what Barton I would think would taste like. You know what I mean? Oh, like okay. in the, in the mid palate, I not get that. these is what you're saying. Yeah, no, I get way more of the actual like the good Barton palate I that see. we like in the middle That's part. For, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The S12 is gonna bail us out if we go south. We have a sure. problem. Yeah. It'll bail us out. Sure. Well, but I think we, I think we'll save that to the till later. I'm not saying you get your barrels like we're no, gonna no, fucking no, barrels. No, up. I, no, I want your. I, what I nobody would knows do, this. I've been calling Jared being like, dude, what the fuck is going on with the blending <laughs> I'm like, just walk away. <laughs> You're like, yeah. you said that. You said, leave it alone. You leave gotta it alone go leave it alone. Couple, couple yeah. days. Okay. Yeah. So what I would do right now, and this is a huge step, but I would just, met, what we probably ought to do is take the barrels, measure the barrels, see where we really are on, on percentages. Okay. And then take those percentages out of this barrel, this barrel. That, and honestly, we need to find one more Barton that's close to this. Okay. That's what I would do. 
Because you're four barrels in right here, baby. I, I would love 800 bottles out of it. And I think we put them in the barrel, and we leave them alone. In the vat. In the vat, and we call it a day. Okay. And then tomorrow, come in and stir the shit out of it, okay. try it, see which way it's going, which way it's rolling. It. And, we, and we try to predict what's going to happen in the future, and then we fix it. Okay. These three are going to go up and get dumped. That's going to go up and get dumped into that tank. We never used it. Jared said he's going to, you know, be the first one here to use that tank, and so he is. And here we go. If it goes sideways, Jared's still good at blending, and our whiskey's just, mm. Hey, we're back out. <laughs> Okay. We can always go further tomorrow. Good point. Dude, because that first one's fire. Sure, by itself. This one's a little bitter. Okay. The blend that we've been playing with is equal parts each. All of these barrels are very much full. So they all should be within probably, I bet they're all within about 10, 15 bottles of each other if I had to guess. And then uh, what, let it sit for the night? Yeah, well, tomorrow morning we'll, we'll know if we're, if we're way off or if we're headed the right direction. Okay. We'll, if it's, we'll know tomorrow, and even if we're off in the wrong direction, then we just do the same thing. Then we start mixing it with single barrels. We'll find one barrel or two that get it back on track. Sure. And then we'll, it's Go going, yeah. The proof's in the pudding. No. Some would say it's in the pour. Yeah, proof's in the pour, bro. Maybe we could take tonight, just a little bit, pull out the, the fire barrel. The one that's well, yeah. Yep, put like two, three gallons in. See if it changes the Let's overall. do that. I want to do that. Let's do that. And then we'll see if it changes it. We'll know if we're going the right direction. We'll stop, come back in tomorrow. If you want to wait and see what it's like no. tomorrow. So I think, because if we put in the S12 today, you're going to get a different component than if we put tomorrow. it in tomorrow. Right, you're right. So I'd like okay. to put a little bit in today okay. and then some tomorrow. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to go get S12 out of the barrel house and we'll put some of that in there. S12 was doing some work in there for sure. In the glass it was. All right, we had an audible. This is an audible, right? <laughs> it is an audible. S5 is a high right sagamore and it's really, really low. But it would add, hopefully, like an aged profile. Is that the yeah, thought process Yeah, we held here? back in a Barton. Yes. And we've seen it coming front fast. We did. And now I think it's going to give it a whole like age, if I may say, like Buffalo Trace. You can say whatever you want. Feel. I mean, sure. to me, this is like, it's like Batch 15 Stag Jr. It's, it's like, it's what, I, what everybody wants us to be. Sure. And that's going to add it to it. That's it. That's what like is what, it? That is like what we're getting ready to do right now. That's, that's, that's the, that is the pre-tester of everything we have in that tank. With these? With these put in. Smell that. He has a fucking. I didn't. I didn't smell that when you were over there making big claims. No, it's real deal. Yeah, that oh, smells it's fucking incredible. It's thicker than shit. Did you add some of that? It's like a twelve-year foolproof fucking buffalo oh, trace. Buddy, that smells like exactly what I was hoping this release would be. Yes. And I had some probably unrealistic expectations. It's like that candy shop Barton with that fucking like Stag Junior cherry fucking. It's really holy really good, shit. Dude. Does it taste good? Yes, dude. Hey, you want to work here? <laughs> I'll come down once a month. <laughs> like, what the fuck, this is fun. It tastes like ECBP. It's the next morning. It's the next day. It is Friday today. Got it. All right. Is that good of a hand I am? You're fucking best, dude. Oh, man. Oh, man, that tank smells good. We're going to stir this up, and then we're going to try it, see what direction it needs to head in. I and it left like a red in fruit. There, really. What? I can't tell what's barking in there. That's probably why it's not so fruity, though. It's like more complex and layered. You know these, I don't know these whiskeys. Oh, I'm shit. getting to know your. Oh, I your, love that. I'm getting to know your distillate really well. 
The Sagamore shit? Yeah. Yeah. Needs a finish now. Mm-hmm. The upfront punch of flavors. We good. definitely need to put some 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 finish on it. Yeah, it, it yeah. needs a finish. And we knew that. So we we're talking about have, <clears throat> what we gotta do now, because we got another barrel of Barton up there. Yes. We got a lot of S12 up there. We've only put five gallons of S12 Which in Which is there. smoking. Not a lot. It's awesome. And S12 is good. Yeah. We gotta add a finish. You mentioned there's like a sulfury note. It's a little bit. And now we're trying to decide if we want to add another Barton or not. I mean, possibly. So, so we probably ought to take it and put a little Barton in the glass and see okay. how it reacts. Sure. We know the S12 is going to we know it's get gonna us do. to the end. Right. Right? Yeah. We just don't know how we want to build it between now and then. Okay. The angle's right where the palate meets your esophagus. Okay. Is that, yeah. is that about right? Yep. This is just a guess. And if I'm yeah. wrong, steer no, me in the right for direction. Sure. We do that pre-dumping any more S12. Oh, yeah. And S12 is like... It's the finish. There's that cherry right there. It's, it's, the, right? it's the icing to kind of smooth yeah. it all out. Okay. Do you like the amount of fruit you're getting? I would love more. Yeah. But, yeah. But, I, but, but S12. S12 is going to add. Yeah. So that's why, like, I I guess, like, the worry isn't there. Yeah. Knowing that S12 is going to. Yeah, we haven't used it. Hey, you it. throw a bunch of S12 in there, you're going to get a bunch of apple. You know, you're going to get a bunch yeah. of red apple, maybe a little strawberry or something. So if you were at your space right now. Yeah. You go in, and let's just pretend you had the Barton, because you know what that Barton tastes like up there that we were talking yeah. about using. You have that Barton barrel, and you have five MGP barrels. Do you go down the lane of, let's see what the Barton does, or do you go, let's try the five MGPs and see where to go next? Oh, man. Well, the MGP you used yesterday is not, in my opinion, isn't like many of the MGPs I have. Mm -hmm. So, like, a lot of, right now, a lot of my MGPs actually do, so I'm chasing fruit. I just love, like, the fruit characters. Me too. Um, so if I can get like that batch 15 stack yeah. junior esque, if I had to fix something with the palate from say the esophagus to the tip of the tongue, yeah. the very front of it or the, the first half, yeah. I would go for that possibly lean on that Barton. Okay. Cause I think it has this really nice palate movement. About sure. It. But we might find some MGP that just totally changed. Like we could find a fruity one that also has that same mouthfeel. Yeah. How about this? Let's go taste some MGP. Bro. Yeah, I think we should just. There's no, it doesn't hurt anything to do that. No. Let's go taste some MGP barrels. You want to throw Barton in a glass first so we give it time while we're tasting the MGP to let it sit? We Mingle? can. We can. We got two out. Because then, then we got two different. We, we, got, we had a fork in the row. We can take either direction. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do it. Okay. I pulled three MGPs. That's another one I didn't pull. Okay. Um, Look at that. That's going to be totally different. That is, that's one of the cellar MGPs that tastes like corn character. Mm, I don't know. That's a nice fruity... Dude, they smell nice. They smell 27 older. and 28 were like almost like single barrel. These were the direct from MGP barrels. That, I think, adds more problem. Okay. Because you'll see where it kind of hits your esophagus. This one does not. That was M27. This one kind of comes up and kind of hops over the back. Okay. That one's pretty interesting, too. 24. Mm -hmm. that, I'm, I'm going to put a little bit of 27 in okay. this one. I put way too much just now. But I'm going to put a little bit of 24, too, and just see what happens. And sure. this is the Barton and the 20 to 12 put into it. So this in that glass is the actual blend. The blend. With the Barton we didn't dump. Yep. With a little more S12. Yep. Low rye Sagamore. With M24, which is 21% rye MGP, and 27, which is 21% rye MGP. There's a lot in that glass at this point. This is starting to go like towards cigar. Okay. It's starting to get tobacco-y. Okay. A little bit of leather. This is my wheelhouse, not okay. so much yours. Right. Jared's fucking incredible. Very good at this. Undersells it. It's crazy. The nose on this is like, uh, it's like very layered. So these are both actually pretty good. This needs yeah, a little more. That's pretty depth, good. Right. That's pretty good. But it is up top. Yeah. That motherfucker is serious. I like the, what I like about this right now is you're like, you sniff and you're like, oh, this. And then you sniff it and you're like, there's, oh, there's. Yeah. And then you're again and then again. I like that. It's serious for me. That is a serious pour. A lot of times you can't come in and be like, I'm going to build this, I'm going to build this, I'm going to build this. You come in and you try to build something. Mm -hmm. And you just try to make it happen. If you don't, the whiskey will kind of take you somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And you just did you a favor because now you still can make your ideal whiskey. Right. You, you chase that ideal whiskey, you're going to have six, seven, ten different profiles. Sure. Right. right that's fair. Yeah. yeah that's so true. So it's part of the deal. And okay. you are hypercritical of your own shit. Yeah. Right, to the point to an where, extent. Holy hell. Yeah. yeah. You thought, I thought I was walking into junk. 
And I tasted these. I was worried you were like, oh my God. I was worried you were too. This shit's so good. Well, and I like the idea. You mentioned it earlier off camera. The word steering. I like the yeah. the philosophy of steering that blend now. Yeah. She's here and she's a car, you know, but let's go a little bit that way. And the bigger you get, the, like when you're, it's like whenever you're small, it's like a race car. You're like, gotta make that fucking sure, corner. Yeah. When, now we're like a bus. Sure. Whoa. <laughs> ah, good day. Right, right. But it's a little bit better now. Sure. You know? So, look, leaving 24 out, uh -huh. 27 is a pretty good move. Sure. Do you love it? I love that. So. Like a lot. So I think we... We, so we need we need twenty seven. So we're gonna we're gonna remove eight, 28 and twenty four. Yeah. We're gonna move twenty seven up. The Barton's already up there. We'll dump some Barton, dump some twenty seven, stir it up, let it sit for a minute, see what happens. Love it. Let's do that. Okay. Is there whiskey coming out down there? Yes. I hear it. I hear it. MGP is so underrated, dude. It's like stormy season here, dude. Yeah, dude. It's the best. All we just did actually is add 27. We added a good chunk of We that. did. Almost half. Dude, all we got to do, 27 helped a lot. I do believe that. Huge. Like a lot. Huge. Okay. It's, it's a big boy whiskey now. It is. Yeah. Okay, if this would be HJ at four. That's fucking crazy. The oldest thing in here is six. Okay. Most of this blend's five. But the younger stuff is like the best. That's fucking wild. It's really weird. But that's uh like that. Okay, let's add a little twelve then. Okay. Handful of gallons. On it. And then we're we let her sit. I think we let us sit. We let dude. it sit. Yeah. We're there. We uh -huh. fucking made it there, buddy. <laughs> we oh, did. You're the fucking best, dude. <laughs> you're the fucking best, dude. Jared's really good at this shit. Wild. It's so much fun. It's wild. The table holds pressure once again. I charged it up to 100 PSI. Also a good update. This, this didn't go down. Oh, it charged up? Yeah. yeah. And it held pressure. It's Our bottling line it reworks. <laughs> We're going to hit you up. We yep. got in. Yep. It was missing a finish. We tasted three or four MGP bourbons, which one of them was 27. 27, we liked. Jared played with the Barton, the 27, more 12. Okay. So what we ended up 12 doing, is what we had that small part of, right? Yes. Okay. So we ended up adding probably five more gallons of 12. Okay. Give or take a little, five-ish. We, we added a good chunk of 27. It smells fantastic. It smell like it smelled good. It did yeah, last time. Good, I mean, it smells like your type of whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. That guy it smells whiskey. like... Sweet, like, fruity. That's really good. I love the nose. I think it's a little bit softer than it was last night, too. Okay. Like, everything kind of feels a little bit put, more put together. Whereas last night, the, the finish for me... Felt really, really hot. Yeah. And it was just kind of like an alcohol proofy thing. It okay. wasn't like a flavor proof yeah. it was or now. flavor. But yeah, it does have a really good finish now. It's moving nice. That's called right. defeat. Right direction. Yes. Good day. Yeah, good day. Cheers to go. We're going to let it sit for longer. I'll see you at a different time, different place. I just had the mic off when I introed it. It's a new day. I'm an idiot, and I don't know how to you do YouTube things. <laughs> Jared, okay. We've stirred the tank twice, just to catch back up on audio. Stirred the tank twice. Hit it. This morning for the first time right now. So we're just going to see where it's at and then, you know, take it from there. So it's got like that confectionery sugar and like, like uh, pastry note on the nose. Dude, it's almost got a, um, it's almost got like a barbecue, yeah. like a smoked char barbecue. -y. It's like smoky fucking cherry. That's interesting. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a smoked old fashioned cherry. It's just talk me off the ledge here. Okay. I almost want to put 12 in it and then proof it down. Yeah. And bring uh, out more fruit, I actually agree. bright fruit, and then the proofing seems to separate some of these layers out. But it's like a couple gallons. Not, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Not, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. want to put the rest of the barrel in there. Yeah. I love the idea of saving this. And you were like, let's dump like three gallons or five gallons. Now that barrel's still more than half full. Now we can just get this barrel across several blends and let it also yeah. change over time. Yeah. This idea it's is a band aid, dude. This idea kind isn't of. doesn't seem like rocket science. I know this people are gonna it's be not. like, obviously. No one understands though when you start blending thousands of dollars into a tank and that you can't extract anymore. You're fucking in. You're in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you use partial a part of a barrel and then go, we just love what that adds, and we all know yeah. that this is fixing stuff that we don't want. It's a component. And now knowing that now we can drag this across two, three, four blends, yeah. whatever it takes. Yeah. And this thing that you taught us while you were here. Yeah. This is something I'll never forget. I love this idea. And every time, like you'll have a few. And every time you find one, you're like, "Oh, it's amazing!" You're yeah. like, "But put that in the put that over in our in our toolbox." Sure. Why, hello? It's been a lot of time. Been many days. Don't have a mic on the camera. I'm sorry. It is bottling day. 
the blend that you saw us put together has been in that tank for a very long time, about two months actually. Had a little glass run outage issue. Labels are in, glass is in. Is it not? There you go, hit the focus. All the information you want and need is right there on the side too. Huge shout out to Jared from Barrel King. Thank you so much for coming, teaching us. I learned a lot from Jared while he was up here and it was incredible. So never thank Jared enough for helping with this. He was a huge help. And hopefully you guys enjoy this, but a bunch of this is gonna go to DC. And patrons will be the first to know like always. Okay, so real quick after Jared left, uh, I played with it in the glass a little bit. It was missing part of a finish still. It got a little flat on the back as it sat in that vat. Put a little bit more of S12, which is our saver barrel in it. And then I put a little, literally a 375 mil into that tank of uh, what we just call Chris's barrel here, which was a 20% Sagamore bourbon. Um, <clears throat> that brought the fruity characters back to it and it opened up the finish quite a bit. Proofed it down from 118 to 114 over about a week. And, uh, you know, stirred her up a lot and let her sit. This is where we're at. So eight total barrels in there. Not all fulls, but eight barrels in there. MGP, Barton. Sagamore, high right and low right of our contract distillation mash bills. So, cheers everybody.